Nice. Good morning fam, it is Saturday and I have no plans today and that is absolutely amazing. So I'm just having my breakfast, got some porridge, this is my favourite way to have porridge now is porridge with pumpkin seeds um, and some white chocolate spread and I normally have some banana in there but I've run out of banana. And here's a little bunny drinking his cup of tea from yesterday, it was my cup of tea. He then took it, took it over. Although I googled it and tea is actually good for bunnies. So be my guest and drink my tea. No sooner have I finished my porridge, he's straight in there. He's just sat on my lap. I am the sort of person who just cannot bear to not have a plan for a day. So I've made myself a plan because otherwise I would just do nothing all day. So plan is in my new bullet journal spreads for December. Clean out Maurice because he's a mess. Hoover my room because it's gross. Do some yoga because I can. Go to this Etsy market local seller event thing, which sounds really awesome. Because they're going to go along to that, maybe do some Christmas shopping. Do a food shop because I've got no food in. Wash some clothes because that is ridiculous. I'm really bored of the music that I've got in my iTunes at the moment and on my phone. So I've been listening to these playlists on this channel. And this one is like my fave at the moment I listen to it loads it's just nice to listen to some new music if you have any recommendations please let me know um this is the kind of style that I like indie pop folk that is what I go for normally nice chilled stuff do also love Motown and a bit of funk and soul pretty much listen to anything that's not rap or screamo hit me up if you've got any recommendations Cleaned out Maurice, check. Hoovered the floor when I make a mess when I clean up Maurice, check. I've got this handy playlist of all of the videos that I use, I like to use to do yoga in the morning. And the one that I'm gonna use today is this one, Movement Medicine. Yoga, check. I really like that morning practice, um, but it's kind of difficult to get in the zone when you've got a bunny licking your hands while you're doing it. Um, I really like doing yoga in the morning just to like, I don't know, get your body moving, get the blood flowing throughout your body because you can get so stiff when you've been asleep, especially when you've had a lie-in. So on weekends when I've got a bit more time, well on weekends where I'm at home, I like to do those kind of longer practices like in that playlist but on weekdays when I don't really have time I mean I could get up earlier but who wants to do that I like to do just like a little um, movement meditation like a mindful movement for like a minute um, I think everyone can spare a minute in their morning hopefully although I've been doing it a lot less now it's dark in the mornings and I just do not want to get out of bed. So I'll show you what I do on weekday mornings so that you can maybe do it yourself. So you don't need a mat or anything for this and I like to start by just shaking out a little bit, bring your hands to your heart, breathe in and put your hands up in the air and have a little stretch because that's what you need in the morning. Breathe out and fold forwards and just flop. Breathe in and bring yourself halfway up so that you're in like a, like an L shape, like this. 
breathe out and flop again and then I maybe do like two or three breaths flopped like this because it stretches out the back of your legs really nicely and then breathe in, bend your knees and come up and stretch again, breathe out and hands to heart again and then I'll repeat that as many times as I can be bothered. Sometimes an old bunny will come and lick my fingers when he's down here but he's interested in hay right now but I really like to do that in the morning just to get the juices flowing so note to self remember to do that in the morning and get out of bed and do it because I've been very lazy recently My god, town is horrific on a weekend. This is generally why I try not to leave the house on a weekend. Well, it's usually really bad, but it's extra bad with it being nearly Christmas. We had loads of kids queuing up to see the Fenix window display, and oh, I've, town was just absolutely rammed full of people, like doing Christmas shopping and stuff. But I will show you what I got. Well, I won't show you everything because some people who I've bought presents for might be watching, so I won't show you those. So, I've got this till for my nephew, because I had toy till when I was younger and it was the best toy ever. But I think, I think this one like makes noises and stuff, so, ooh, beep. So, here we go, you can play with that. From the Etsy fair, I got these gloves from a stall called, what is it called? Disco Tribe? I think that's the name of the stall. Um, but they're made from recycled jumpers, so that's like a jumper and um, it's really fleecy inside, so that's really nice. I don't really know who they're for yet though, so I'm just going to kind of give them to whoever. I got this game, Double. It is so much fun. If you've never played this before, I would definitely recommend it. It's like Snap, but way better. And I got these leaves. Oh, did I get two packs? Oops. Um, these like glittery leaves. Um, these were kind of a total impulse purchase. I thought they'd be nice for like decorating or I might stick one in my bullet journal or using them for wrapping presents. I didn't realise I got two packs, they must have been stuck together when I bought them. And I also got some veg from Granger Market just because it's so much cheaper to get it from there. My god I'm exhausted! I'm gonna eat the chocolate out of my advent calendar to give me some energy. My Pokemon advent calendar from Adam's mum. Where's day number one? There it is. Oh, it's the second today, isn't it? I can open two days of chocolate. Oh my god. They make these so hard to get into. I don't think the chocolates themselves are Pokemon themed. I don't know what that's meant to be. But we've got little pictures. I've got Meowth and Squirtle. And this one is really excited. Not for you! Oh my god, don't eat it! Not for you! I've just made some Raspberry Ripple hot chocolate from Wittards and it's like neon pink. Like it's literally the colour that you're seeing right now, neon pink. And I'm just about to have a Skype catch up with one of my friends. I'm just waiting for her to call me now. Food is in the oven, washing's in the machine. The only thing I've not done from my to-do list today is a food shop, apart from the veg that I got at the market. And uh, Manella's coming back about in about half an hour and she's going to drive to the supermarket. I was going to go with her but it's dark and gross and I do have some food. So I might do my food shop tomorrow and just chill tonight. I might watch a movie. I've not watched a movie in so long. I normally just watch like, I don't know, like 17 minute long YouTube videos or half an hour episodes of a series or something. Um, so yeah, I might take a bit of time and actually watch a movie. I'll have a look on Netflix, see what there is. I've got edamame burger. How do you say that word? Edamame? Edamame. Edamame. <laughs> edamame. <laughs> That's the one. Edamame. <laughs> you, just, you just sound like a 
Sorry, what you say? Oh, I've got to go. Edamame! Edamame burger and sweet potato fries and garlic mayo and we're watching... What are we watching? Over the Hedge. I'm well confused, right? We wound down for the evening, we've watched a movie, we've been in our blankets. It feels like it's like midnight. It's half eight and we're going shopping. And it has messed up my routine so much, but we're in the chocolate aisle, so that makes everything better. Everything is done off my list. I again have no plan tomorrow, so I'll see what time I wake up. And then make a plan. All right, are you gonna get involved? It's like, film me, I'm cute. You want to be the star of the show, don't you? I'm properly tucked up for bed now and I'm gonna watch some crazy ex-girlfriend. I'm on season three and it is very good. So if you haven't watched it already, I would definitely recommend it. Maurice is sleeping in his corridor. I put him in the corridor for night because he is really, really loud, so I can't sleep. So he sleeps in the corridor. I sleep in here. And yeah, I'm gonna watch some of this. Good night. Good morning. Today I'm having a hot cross bun for breakfast. How exciting is that? I bought them, I just fancied them when I was in Morrison's yesterday. But the woman at the uh, checkout was judging me. She was like, hot cross buns are for Easter. It's like, you still sell them. I just wanted one now. So very much going to enjoy that. I might watch another episode of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend because I think I watched three last night. It was like a really good bit, so I had to keep watching it. Um, so I will go and watch another one that continue the binge. I just finished all the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend episodes and I have to wait till next Saturday for the next one. That is shocking. Season three does get really dark, so be warned, but it's still a really good show. Like it tackles so many like really poignant topics like I won't go into it for spoilers but it like talks about some really important stuff throughout the whole thing uh, at the start it's like really light and funny and it's still funny towards the end but like it um you know gets a bit more serious so it's really good but I don't know what to watch now I've watched Kimmy Schmidt I've watched this I like that sort of thing so if you have any recommendations I'm just asking for recommendations this whole vlog. Recommend me music, recommend me movies, recommend me series. And I really, really need to tidy my room because it was tidy yesterday. I don't know how this has happened. Also, the cutest thing ever, Maurice full on put his head inside my chocolate, hot chocolate cup from yesterday and now his head smells like raspberry ripple. Oh, sorry, Anne, did I make you jump? Your head smells like raspberry ripple. If we had smell a vision you'd be able to smell it and also he's got some white hairs like I don't know if you can see them they're like right behind his ear <laughs> they're like here on his back got some little white hairs and on his butt as well can't see them at all he's going grey and he's only a couple of months old and you've got hay all over your back <laughs> I'm so excited my new glasses have just arrived Let's see what they look like. First impressions, unboxing, well, unbagging. And, ooh, I've got a pen. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little screwdriver. How cute is that? Handy thing to have. Oh, give me two hands. Ooh, they're so pretty. They're really big. But I like them, I think. Like, they're cute. The prescription's a little bit off, I think. But I think that's because they're quite flimsy, so, like, the distance the lenses are from your eye isn't set, like, isn't steady. Like, these ones are way more sturdy, so they stay at the same distance from your eye. I like them, though. Maybe when I've had a shower and actually got my hair nice and got some makeup on, it might look a bit nicer, but... Let me know what you think. Toasters and everything. This afternoon I have looked at some jobs, which is super exciting. Having a little look what's available. I've had a shower, hence the wet hair. Put a second load of washing on. Thrilling times. And I've organised my jumper section of my wardrobe because it was an absolute mess. And I've pulled out some things, um, including this dress, and I'm gonna sell them. So I need to take photos of them to put them on the app to sell them.
Ooh, another exciting box has come. Let's see what's inside this one. Well, I know what's inside this one, but I will show you what's inside this one. Ooh. Oh, that's so cute. I left a little note. Oh my god, this is such cute packaging. I ordered this um, during Black Friday. Um, Oh, that's nice. So they wouldn't do collect in store, you had to get it delivered. But this packaging is, oh my god, so extreme and so nice. Ooh. So I got this for my brother, which is the tea that I had yesterday. I've got this for my aunt when it focuses, a little, uh, little green tea sampler set. And I got this for my other aunt. It's like a coffee taster set. Um, and it was all, I think it was all 20% off, which is really good. Let me find the receipt and tell you how much it was. All of that was £37.10, which is not bad, is it? You're just excited that there's a box and something exciting for you to smell. Bunny in a box. Bunny in a box. You are so adorable. Bunny in a box. I just had some pizza and I'm currently on a Skype date. <laughs> He's just disappeared with Adam. Long distance relationship probs. So we've just cooked together and I'm gonna watch something soon. So yeah, thrilling evening. It's like the sound hasn't gone off. I don't I don't know if you've frozen or you're just staying really still. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. <laughs> Literally, the whole time. Are you Are you there still? Hello? Hello? Have you frozen? I can't tell if this is still damp or if it's just cold. Ah, well, I've committed now. I've had a lovely evening. Um, my Skype chat with Adam. We watched... Alias Grace, which is a series we're watching together. So like, we just phone each other up and then count down and press play at the same time. Which was very good. Whew, that was exhausting. And Manila gave me this slice of this avocado cake that she's made. I ate half of this slice, that is how much is left, it's such a massive slice. I'll show you how big the actual cake was. The bread is there to keep it moist, don't worry. It's absolutely ginormous, I think it's four tiers? Three tiers? It's beautiful. <laughs> I also made Maurice a little hay house out of the Wittards box. Seems to be enjoying himself. Troughing away on his hay. Having a great time. Also managed to burn my wrist on the oven when I was making pizza earlier. Kinda painful, so I'm gonna put some pseudocream on that. Oh, I've got way too much. Damn, Adam just got a really good word on words with friends. I know. I Although I'm gonna use that triple word now. Ha ha ha. I don't know what on. It's what ten o'clock. I am gonna edit this vlog for like maybe half an hour, an hour, and then go to bed. And I need to wipe the pseudocreme off my arm because I keep getting it everywhere. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I really hope you enjoy these vlogs, especially when they're a little bit longer, so you get a bit more content. Even though I've not really done anything this weekend and I have literally not left the house today, but I did change pajamas halfway through the day, so. I still got dressed in a way. Please leave me lots of comments with all of the recommendations for movies and series and... What is the plural of series, sis? Series? What's multiple series, sis? Serieses? Leave me um, recommendations for TV series I can watch on Netflix. I have Amazon Prime as well, so anything on there as well. And what was the other thing I asked recommendations for? music as well, any artists or songs you think I would like. Give me all the recommendations and tell me how you are. How is your festive period going? How is your winter 
like season treating you how's everyone doing because I like to hear how everyone else is doing as well and it feels like a sense of community and it feels like we're getting to know each other a little bit you know um so yeah busy day at work tomorrow very busy week at work next week so I'm very much needed this weekend off I will see you in a future video. I don't know what that will be as yet. Um, go check out my live stream of Maurice on my Facebook page if you haven't already. He's super cute and would definitely recommend that for viewing if you're ever having like a stressful day or you just need to chill and you just need to watch a bunny eating a carrot because sometimes that is what you need. Um, the link for my Facebook page is down in the description box. So go give that a cheeky like as well. That would make me super happy. And my goal for this channel is to get to 2,000 views by the uh, 2,000 subscribers, sorry, by Christmas, and we're really nearly there. So, do me a favor if you've not yet subscribed to this channel and you do want to see a bit more of me, then please hit that subscribe button. Makes me very, very happy and mean the world if I could meet my target by Christmas. Be a nice little Christmas present for me. I've rambled on for ages now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go get in my clean bedding bed and edit a bit. See you later. Bye!